October 2nd, 2024 Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels A reading from the book of Job. Job answered his friends and said, I know well that it is so, but how can a man be justified before God? Should one wish to contend with him, he could not answer him once in a thousand times. God is wise in heart and mighty in strength. Who has withstood him and remained unscathed? He removes the mountains before they know it. He overturns them in his anger. He shakes the earth out of its place, and the pillars beneath it tremble. He commands the sun, and it rises not. He seals up the stars. He alone stretches out the heavens and treads upon the crests of the sea. He made the bear and Orion, the Pleiades and the constellations of the south. He does great things past finding out, marvelous things beyond reckoning. Should he come near me, I see him not. Should he pass by, I am not aware of him. Should he seize me forcibly, who can say him nay? Who can say to him, what are you doing? How much less shall I give him any answer, or choose out arguments against him? Even though I were right, I could not answer him, but should rather beg for what was due me. If I appealed to him and he answered my call, I could not believe that he would hearken to my words. The Word of the Lord Responsorial Psalm The response is, Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Daily I call upon you, O Lord. To you I stretch out my hands. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades arise to give you thanks? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. Do they declare your mercy in the grave, your faithfulness among those who have perished? Are your wonders made known in the darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. But I, O Lord, cry out to you. With my morning prayer I wait upon you. Why, O Lord, do you reject me? Why hide from me your face? Let my prayer come before you, Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The disciples approached Jesus and said, Who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? He called a little child over, placed it in their midst, and said, Amen, I say to you, unless you turn and become like children, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. Whoever humbles himself like this child is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven. And whoever receives one child such as this in my name receives me. See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. The Gospel of the Lord. Reflection Your Protector and Guide Memorial of the Holy Guardian Angels, October 2nd See that you do not despise one of these little ones, for I say to you that their angels in heaven always look upon the face of my heavenly Father. Matthew 18 verse 10 The reality of angels is fascinating to most people, especially to children. The guardian angels, in particular, are often pictured in sacred art as walking hand in hand with children. And though this is true, they also walk hand in hand with each one of us throughout our lives. This is their sacred duty given to them by God. In quoting St. Basil, the Catechism of the Catholic Church explains the existence of guardian angels by saying, From its beginning until death, human life is surrounded by their watchful care and intercession. Beside each believer stands an angel as protector and shepherd leading him to life. Imagine, in an earthly sense, that you had a personal bodyguard to look after you day and night throughout your life. Perhaps this evokes two different sentiments. First, it would most certainly comfort you when there is imminent danger around. You would know you are not alone and that you would be kept safe from physical harm. 
Another sentiment it may invoke is that of a loss of personal privacy. If someone were watching over you, day and night, you would always be aware of their watchful eye. Everything you said and did would be noticed. For some, this may not always be welcome. Why? Because this means they see all you do, including your sin. Fear of judgment, the loss of personal privacy and the like may be difficult to accept. But now imagine that this bodyguard is one who offers no judgment, acts with perfect love for you, keeps confidentiality with perfection and cares only for your well-being. Though it may be hard to imagine that such a person could exist, that person does exist in the person of your guardian angel. Your guardian angel is real, has a keen and powerful intellect, has a will perfectly united with the will of God and was created for the single purpose of protecting you and leading you into the fulfillment of God's will. When you sin and stray, your guardian angel's only concern is to guide you back to God. When you are fearful or in trouble, your guardian angel's only care is to protect you and fill you with God's peace and courage. And though God could have provided you with all of these graces directly, without the mediation of an angel, he chose to do so through the mediation of your personal guardian angel. Only in heaven will we fully understand the profound depth of love, protection, and care given to us by these angelic beings. Reflect, today, upon the intimate knowledge that your guardian angel has of you. As you ponder this reality, rejoice that someone knows you so well and loves you with a perfect love. This angel of yours not only loves you perfectly but also has been entrusted with great power from God to protect you and shepherd you to the fulfillment of your life mission. Prayerfully acknowledge the great gift that your guardian angel is to you and entrust yourself more fully to this angelic mediation. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this day be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide. Amen. Guardian Angel, pray for me. Jesus, I trust in you.